Okay, so here's another way to use the dual tuner feature on your RSP Duo. Uh, I'm going to open up GNU Radio first and then we'll uh, follow that with Cubic SDR and I'll show how to get this set up. But if we open up a terminal here and we open up, change our user source. In this case, I'll do RDS, an example flow graph here that's included with Dragon OS. Now I've tried to make it to where the we can see what's going to be changed here so the resolution uh, everything's a little bigger here. Important thing is you're going to want to add a soapy source. Um, any of the example flow graphs I've shown in the past that are calling for uh, various different types of uh, sources you should be able to replace that with a soapy source and connect that into your flow graph. Uh, the important thing is changing the device type and some settings here and you may find that you got to hit uh, apply OK multiple times to make sure that the settings take but let's open up another terminal here and we're going to look at using this soapy SDR utility we're going to make sure that we see our uh, RSP Duo and pay attention to the uh, let's see here the labels and the RSP Duo mode. You can use either one, but I'm just going to use the, the the actual mode here, and you'll see where it's calling for single dual master and an, an additional master. In this example, I'm going to use the master here. RSP Duo mode equals four. Put that into our arguments here. Hit OK or hit apply OK. Uh, I need to see what is being referenced uh, for the frequency here. So it's freak tune is the variable. And you can find that in your flow graph or in this example flow graph here, right here, this variable. So let's change that. Under RF options, we hit apply OK. I'll open it back up. We can change our gain mode here. If I change it to specific, you can see how it unlocks some of the other options here. You got 0 to 59 on your top gain value here, you can pick from, and then 0 to 9 here. We'll hit apply OK. I'll start the flow graph, and you're going to get an error because. The antenna is set to RX, which works fine on the RSP1 Alpha, but in this case, we're looking for, and you can find it right here, the antenna options that are available for the RSP Duo. And so I'm just going to copy the tuner one here into here where it calls the antenna. And now we should be able to start this flow graph. And if I turn up the, all right, so if I turn up the audio, you'll see that that's working. And you got all the features of that flow graph. Okay. So I'll leave that running. Just move it up out of the way here. We'll open back up our terminal and if we do soapy SDR utility fine we'll see now that the only option available is the slave and that's what we want we want this uh, to be available now and so I find that if we start cubic SDR with SDR play support second you now have the slave device as you would expect and Cubic SDR, I, I reading the uh, some of the uh, GitHub posts uh, lead me to believe some additional things have been done to Cubic SDR to make this work. I've not seen the slave device work uh, in any other combination. So now we can see 
and the same thing if I turn the audio up you can hear it so you can t essentially do all sorts of combinations now uh, we could for example have GR ADSB up here running tune into some frequencies here uh, so yet another way so you're not just locked into uh, two two instances of cubic I've showed how you could use uh, sig digger and cubic SDR but I find uh, GNU radio pretty interesting because now uh, there's all sorts of flow graphs uh, of course you're limited to the bandwidth that's available in the dual uh, using the dual tuner mode uh, but you should be able to do quite a bit with that all right I hope that's uh, helpful. Thank you.